Hi, I'm back. It's Sunday, and uh, I just got through with our um, project group, and uh, lots of fun. And I finally, <coughs> I finally presented uh, the prototype of my progressive web app. <coughs> no? So uh, I've added more stuff to it since Wednesday. So now instead of just showing you the screen, I'm going to show you a screen grab okay, of the prototype so you can see what happened. Okay. <coughs> now, <coughs> this is, as I said, this is the app. No, I've made some additions to it. No. <coughs> now, this is the prototype on a on a small cell phone. No. So I'm going to show you how all the features stack up to it. There we go. Now, <coughs> that, that's the <coughs> banner again. No. Now, <coughs> You scroll down and you see all the features that I've included. No? So if you click on syllabus, the syllabus will come out. Now, this thing resides inside the app. So it's not a link that you have to go out to. It's inside the app, but it's inside the app. But the file is so small because it's just HTML. No? But it will scale to any no, to any device that you're using. No? So for example, if you do this on, a, on an iPad, no, it just gets bigger. No? But the same things are there. So you go to the syllabus and it will scale itself. No? Really cool. No? But since my, my, uh, no, my minimum <coughs> requirement will be a small cell phone, let's go back to that. No. So, <coughs> so the syllabus is there. Now, the second feature here is a calendar. No. So if you click on the calendar, it will go out of this app and go into a web browser, no, on the same phone, no. Now I've already set up a calendar, and uh, so if you click on this, it will go. Let's see, huh? Let me show it to you. Uh, if you click on this, it will go to. Um, okay, that's coming. It will go to here. There you go. I already have a Google Calendar set up, no, just for this class. So, so if you look down here, it says Arts One. And, uh, so I can put on all the announcements and I can put alarms and stuff like that. No. <coughs> so back to the phone. Readings. <coughs> I started putting in readings, and again, they're also in on HTML, so there's no external links here. No, the readings are right there, but the f again, the file is very, very, very small. So, for example, if I click on this first one, which is usually one of the early readings, uh, Alice Guillermo's preface from Art and Society. There you go. No. It's the whole reading. No. I had to do this manually, <laughs> no, <coughs> and it's all text anyway, no. So the whole reading is here. Click back. Here's another reading. Reading the image, the classic Alice Guillermo, uh, no article. Yep, it's all there. And so you know, the student can read this anytime, no, whether. Whether a student is on a G, riding a jeep or a tricycle, <laughs> no, or at home, or in the mall, or in Jollibee, or whatever, no. And you don't need signal to, to do this because it's already inside of the app, no. You don't need to be on Wi-Fi or on cellular data. Okay. So what else is here? Um, 
Oh, here's one interesting one. <clears throat> um, one of my, uh, no, one of my uh, requirements is a weekly reflection paper. Okay? So what I did was, I have space wherein the student can type the reflection paper. No? So this is reflection number one. And here are some instructions here. So the student can type here whether, you know, whether he, he or she is using a phone, tablet, or laptop, desktop, no? And once, he's, once the student has finished this, you just have to press the submit button and bang. No? The submission has been sent. It's been sent via email to an email address that I set up just to receive these things, no? these submissions. I was using it last semester. No. Okay. And so that goes all the way. So deflection number two is here. I just have now have to figure out a way so that after, after the student has typed it, no, the reflection paper will actually stay on the page. No, I haven't figured that out yet. But you know, so that the student can look back at what he or she has said. No. Uh, what else is here? Uh, project submission. Oh, yeah. Um, this quiz submission and project submission, I haven't figured this out yet. But the Facebook group is here already. Now, um, the Facebook group, it goes to an external link and... Um, <coughs> let's see, where is that? Huh? It's over here. I'll show you. Yeah, that's the Facebook group. I've had it running <coughs> since April, no, because I figured I'd need it. <coughs> There's also a Google group, no, and I will turn this. I will click on this one so that you can see it. Uh, yes, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Right, that's a Google group. Now, these things will open in the browser of the phone, no? In the, uh, no, in the final version. It will open and then you can see everything. You know, you can see all the previous mails and stuff like that, no? If, especially if you have a Gmail account, no? Now, <coughs> I don't know yet whether I can use the UP account yet, no? Because uh, the trouble with UP is that it doesn't like emailing people uh, outside of the UP, you know, outside of, without a UP address, no? So I might have to use a private one, no, this one, but yeah, it's gonna work. And then finally, they have <coughs> another one here that says, if they want to send an email to me directly, yeah. They can do that to one click and they, it will open their mail app in the phone uh, and then my address will already be there. No? Now, there are certain things which uh, I was, they suggested I add and I'm thinking about them now. Um, <coughs> um, I can add another thing here that involves um, a one on one uh, consultation you can set up an online cons consultation no either voice okay or either voice or voice with video or just chat no now that's a very interesting thing no so i can give certain hours because you know we're supposed to give um, consultation hours so putting chat if they really don't have any you know resources if it's really really light data by the chat putting audio if they have the resources putting video if they have the resources whatever no so uh, <coughs> that would be a no that would be interesting to add 
Also, I'm probably going to add a Google Drive for the class, no? so that if they want to put any resources of their own, no? they can just put it in the Google Drive, and anyone can, uh, no, anyone who has enough data capabilities no, can access it. No? <coughs> but more or less, this is, the, this is it. No? I mean, this is as low data as uh, you could probably get. No? And everything is accessible from the phone. No? The phone will be the, uh, no, with the minimum requirement. Any smartphone should be able to do this. No? And a lot of it will be available offline. Okay, the resources will be available offline, whether it's the, the, it's the readings, the images, the videos, hopefully, if I can get it, even the videos can be offline. No? Using a cache, which I still have to learn. Okay. Great. This is uh, it's turning out to be very interesting. No? Now, <coughs> my next assignment this week is to explore web hosting. No? Now, I'll be looking into both, I'll, I'll be looking into private paid web hosting, of which there are many services out there. No? Um, since the app will be very light, the monthly hosting charges would be cheap, like something like just paying for Spotify. No? Uh, in addition to that, um, I'll be putting more content in. No? And I'll also be trying to make connections in my school for funding. No? I can get funding to, 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 to work on this for the, you know. Uh, and um, also, so can I, I can afford to get uh, people who will, who will code this and actually code it for me because, you know, there's so many things that I still want to do, but, you know, I, I don't know how to do it. So they'll have to be doing the nuts and bolts stuff, you know, so the, so the app can be tightened up ready for deployment. No? I'm also looking, trying to get, we're also trying to get inst institutional support so that one, we can make use of thing of uh, school facilities like, for example, um, the Diliman YouTube channel. No? Because I could use a private channel, but then iba siempre yung, you're using the Diliman channel because it's it's a really educational channel and uh, you know you might I might be able to get by on some you know fair use you know fair use of uh, media and materials and stuff like that you know. second I need institutional you know, support so that um, more people can be encouraged to make use of platforms like this you know. Now, <coughs> there's still a lot of work to do, but the path is clearing up. No? Now, I encourage everyone out there to check out these progressive web apps no? and decide for themselves if it's something they can use. No? I think it's very, very, very exciting because it makes use of the really barest bone minimum requirements from the students. No? Everything is there. And, uh, this is what Jane Poe has been telling me for a long time. And now I really see that this is possible. No? So I'll be back sometime in the middle of the week for an update. Okay? So <coughs> see you then. And keep working. And let's hang in there. Okay? <coughs> okay. Bye.